Good morning folks, um, Egyptian Infantry Spearmen. Um, time to start on another unit. <laughs> this is my third of, uh, well I was going to be four, but apparently I can have six 24 man units, so I may be greedy and go for uh, six. Um, I'll need to buy some more figures, and they are pricey as we know, but uh, yeah. Um, I think this is going to be a green shield unit. I haven't painted up a sample one because I'm getting so good at doing these now. <laughs> um, so good at painting these. Um, I know what I'm doing, I think, hopefully. Um, right, so I'll make a start. Uh, they're all white undercoated. Uh, flesh wash, um, which I use. Did, 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 where are we? Dark flesh. Do I use dark flesh? No, I don't think I use dark flesh. Yes, I do use dark flesh. He says I'm lying to myself. Yeah. Dark Flesh uh, 927. So I wash the figures everywhere with that. I say the shields are going to be green, I think, with a beige type border. Um, but we'll leave that till later. So I'll make a start and come back when there's some progress. Back soon. Right, that's the flesh paint washed all over them uh, say dark flesh 927 Bellagio um, I'm now going to add the army painter flesh wash which obviously I should just put on the flesh parts some the figures so I'll get all that added and then come back to you there we have it uh, flesh wash has been added um, didn't take long about 20 minutes um, Right, get that dry in the next half hour or so, and then it's the long job of the white. We've got white headdress, white kilt, and white body armor. So uh, lots of white. There's uh, a copper-headed axe that he's holding in his left hand, which will be underneath the shield. And then there's a blue, sorry, green ribbon at the back as I'm doing a green unit. Other than that, um, there we finished. So just loads of white. That's likely to take several days because after doing sort of half a dozen, I get fed up with putting the white on and need a break. So anyway, I will get the white sorted and then I'll come back to you. Right there we go. That's the uh, the white sorted out. Um, two slash three coats of white. Um, yep, the figures are now ready for green. I'll just put the first coat of green if it shows up there. The green ribbon at the back underneath the left arm. Um, right, so um, yep, got to shade the green, um, paint the um, axe or the mallet which is here in the hand. There's a mallet being held, and then get the shields on. So uh, I'll get on with that and then come back to you. Okay, there we have it. So that's the unit all painted up. Green shields, um, white tunic obviously, and I've just done the spears and the spear shafts and the top. Um, so, time to get basing. I didn't get the MDF out. Uh, so I'll get these base now and uh, and come back to you for a, uh, for a final roundup. So, back soon. And uh, there we have it, another unit of Egyptian infantry finished. Just move that camera a little bit, yep. Green shield unit. Usual setup of um, two double bases, so two bases of eight figures and two bases of four figures. Um, makes a 24 man unit. Um, yep, there we go, side shot there. Marching along, and uh, there's your usual rear shot. Um, this now makes my uh, third unit of 24. I uh, I was going for um, four of these units, but I've uh, worked out on the list I can now have six units of 24, so I'm gonna need to buy some figures from Foundry. Um, the trouble is, as we know, they're very expensive at. Uh, 14 pounds a pack now so maybe they'll have some kind of sale at Christmas time or uh, in January if they do I'll have to um, spend some money so I can get this army finished so but for now uh, this is where we are so uh, I'll get on with the next which I think is some uh, 
ch chariot runners with javelins. But, uh, thanks for looking and uh, bye for now.